Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. So what I decided, I'm going to do Ace Benedict again. Because I didn't like the first round. And it was in two parts. And I'm going to see if I can do a better job today. This is my second run. So, my five ingredients, I got the biscuit again, the butter, the canned milk, and the eggs, and the ham. The five, and then you got your vinegar and salt and pepper. So, the first thing I did was get the biscuits on. And we oil our pans. This pan is for my ham. And this one, I'm going to use the longer one. I like this pan. So, we lightly, we lightly, just enough to cover it. And the pan for the biscuit. Like I said, I don't like egg. Egg McMuffins, uh, or not McMuffins, in, uh, whatever you call them, English muffins. It just, I don't know. They're just wiry or something, right? Now, a guy asked me about my ham. Now, I get this at Walmart, and it, it's long, but I cut it in two, and I freeze half, see? So I couldn't show them. It used to be ten dollars and then it went up to eleven. So I just cut that really, really thin like I did last time. And I usually cut two. And my and this one's gonna be a lay down, like I did last time. But the biscuit, I'm not gonna make them so big and I'm gonna make sure they're cooked a little bit more crispier because so I'm gonna put the ham. put it really low because I can't put the thing on. So there's my ham. I cut it nice and thin and okay so the ham is on. The ham is on slow. Put that back in the fridge. So now um Biscuit time. So, try to time it just right this time, too. So, get these at dollar store for a dollar. And the water, you put in half a cup. Now, last time, I think I'm going to put half a cup, but I'm going with cold water. But it just seemed to be too much, so I'm going to put a little bit in because it seemed like it was too much water. The biscuits was, biscuits was too, uh, too runny. And I might have made a mistake and put a cup in too because they were awfully runny. I just wasn't happy with that breakfast. Yeah, I must have put a cup in. I think that's what happened. Because I, I kind of figured. I never seen them ever there. Yeah, I must have made a mistake and put a cup in. That's what I'm thinking, for sure. Okay, so a half a cup of water, not a full cup of water. Now, yeah, that's a lot better. And I preheated the oven to 350. I'm not going to put it on 400. And the egg, well, I'm still new at that poaching thing, but I'm still, I'm going to conquer it. I'm going to conquer it. I'm going to conquer it. So, I'm not going to make them as big as last time. I'll probably get about, I don't want all biscuits. Because an English muffin is 
not that not that big so let's see how many I can get in here It. and I'll pick out the best one right so this is what I'm having for breakfast today Mrs. Fields I will make them again and I'll order from Ricky's because they make good they make good eggs then I guess that's Ricky's I got no complaints there. Probably turn this down a little. Probably just turn it down. There, pop at five. Get my plate ready. Okay, and pay attention to the holidays. When it says the syrup, and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna be all fancy today. Paprika, just for a get all fancy after it's cooked, right? Now, so I'm waiting for the BB beep. These will look a little bit better. They look a little bit better, not so big. And, and uh, make sure they're cooked good. And I want a good breakfast. Last time I just messed up. Just messed up last time. I just made a mess. So anyhow, I like to. Okay, so I'm gonna do about a quarter of water. It says I looked over the recipe again, and it says to do not half. About a quarter water in this. There's the beef. Now, we're going to put them on. It says here again, it was what? It said 8 to 11. I want to cook that. Okay. I can put them both in at the same time. But I did do five minutes apart and my egg was overcooked, but those are small. Okay, I'm gonna put them in and prepare the egg and do the egg at, because you shouldn't lift this up for 10 minutes. Okay, let's see. Where I got them all pretty pissy, hopefully it's a pissy. Egg pan in there. I use the big one. Yeah. Okay. So let's try this. So we're going to take two eggs, and if it's not, if it's over, or if it's, I like it uh, not soft but like a medium but if it's a little bit over it's not going to be no big deal <sighs> but you can't break it right that's the only thing and i have a yolk or uh i have a thing in it right there let's see if i can get the shell out without busting the yolk Okay, let's see, I got Come on, baby. There it is. Okay, I got it. My mask. 
someone comes to the door, I ha always have my mask ready. Make sure you can put a little salt. Now, do the other one. Not the same way, but... Okay. Better. Take the two legs, put them in the garbage. Better. Put a little bit of salt. I'll wait a few minutes before I put them in. The oven, and I know all kinds of things do. My ham is cooked, so I'm just going to keep it on there and just let it fat and okay. Those are doing okay. Those are doing okay. Wait a few minutes and put the eggs in. The hollandaise, I'm going to pay attention to it this time. If it doesn't look good, I'm going to wait a few minutes because it thickens up. Now the way I, I don't want to move, I only want that vinegar really, whoo, she's strong, I bought vin vinegar. So I'm going to try, because I want the egg yolks, I'm, this band-aid I'm going to take off. I don't need it anymore, I'm wearing it since today is Tuesday. Oh my word probably blew on me. No, I got it at work last night because it kept on touching where I did that thing the other day. I'm going to move those to the side. Got my ham ready. Let my biscuits cook a little bit before I put my eggs in. I'll be too soon for the holidays, but I'm so excited to try it again. I know I suffer for punishment. I'm going to use two of these. The reason why is I'm going to melt the margarine in here. And then, okay. Organize. Two egg yolks. Now this should be fun. I'm going to try the finger thing. I've seen it lots of times on television. Never ever done it. So let's see if I can do it. Okay. Oh, the way I shake, I don't think it's going to work. Put it in the pan and then put it back and forth. Ah, not bad. Doesn't matter if you shake or not, I guess. So there's one. Okay, let's try this baby again. <sighs> okay. So, two egg yolks. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, where's my clover? Okay, now, oh, I got sinuses. That's why I always look like I got bags under my eyes because of my sinus. Okay, so we got those and we're going to Four tablespoons of margarine. One, two, three, four. It's not well for butter. I can't believe it's not butter. Okay. So what you do with that now, you make it for 30 seconds, but I'm going to see how my things and see if I can sneak, <coughs> excuse me, see if I can sneak the eggs in there, right? Without disturbing. So, there. 
there's that. I don't need that anymore. I do need my butter though, because I still, I don't know. Might have made it a little bit foggy. I'm not going to. I usually do my buns as soon as the muffins come out, but no. Okay, let's see if I can get those eggs in there without disturbing those. Okay, let's try it. Let's try getting the eggs in there. When the muffins look like they're done, the eggs are going to be done. How's that one? Okay, so let that cook. I'm not going to time it this time. I'm just going to go by eye. I like to go by eye. And get my pan. Just a lay down one. There. Got my pan. In my pan on my plate. I don't need that for anything. I don't like having stuff if you don't need it. Okay, so let's start the eggs, Benedict, or the hollandaise. 30 sec second. 30 seconds of the butter. So, there it is. Let's try this and see how good I can get at this part. Let's see how good I can get it. 30 seconds, that's for the end. Don't need the pepper anymore. Oh, I know what I needed, the little spoon for my vinegar. Okay. Set 30 seconds. That should be enough to melt the four tablespoons. Perfect. Not too hot because we do not want scrambled eggs. Now, Two tablespoons of tin milk. One and two. And a little bit of salt. And a teaspoon of vinegar. And I don't want to put too much. I don't want it to get bitter. So this should be fine. There. Right on. Right on. Put the two egg yolks in it. I I used the fork last time. Okay, one minute stir every five seconds. Mix it up good. And I'm standing over here this time. One minute. One, zero, zero. Every five seconds, stir. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's extreme, but every five seconds, stir. Okay. One, two, three, four. says to do, I'm going to do it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. What we do for hollandaise, eh? Crazy, crazy, crazy. I love holidays. One, two, three, four, and five. I love holidays, sorry. And I'm not adding any time to it. It's a science, I tell you. It's an experiment. One, two, three, four. Okay. Stir it. Getting thick. Looks good. And then I let it set a little bit. Well, my base. One, two, three, four, 
Eric 5, but it didn't say to let it set. It didn't say on the recipe to let it set before you pour it on. But it is thickening. But they also said, oh, if it's if it's too if it gets all chalky, all you gotta do is just stir it. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then this and then there'll be one more and that then it will be up. Oh, sorry for my back, but you really didn't have to see that. I mean, it wasn't that. Okay. Just me stirring. Just me stirring. See? This is, this is unreal. Look how nice. It didn't break. I'm keeping that alone. See, it was like that last time, but I was like, it's not thick enough. We'll put it in for a few more seconds. No. No, it'll get sick while well, it sets. It'll get sick. Okay, so let's see how these muffins and everything are doing. Okay, so I'm even going to take a few minutes. So today, after this video, I'll wait a few before I'll, I'll download it and wait a few minutes and um, today I'm going to talk about my favorites like favorite movie favorites genre music and movies and whatever my favorite today my favorites that's what I'm going to talk about someone asked that in a question I do have a shout out to give but the name I think I can remember it. Bella Bailey. Give a shout out to Bella Bailey. She asked for a shout out. So, all I'm doing now, waiting for my biscuit. What I'm going to do with the biscuit, though, I'm going to take one out over here and cut it. Cut it that way. I don't want a real big biscuit today. It was too overpowering last time, my, my biscuit. It was just too much, eh? Too much biscuit, so I'm gonna do paprika. Don't need the butter and the milk. I like to put things away. After the eating, just put the stuff in the sink and you can relax, you know? And so, let's see if I'm going to need the salt. Put the salt and the hollandaise in now. Oh, yeah. That is so good. Now I'm just waiting on my egg. That is so good. Probably. Hollandaise is perfect. Now I gotta put the hot pans on the wooden thing. So get that ready. Got my knife. Let's see what the biscuits look like. A few more minutes. I knew why I wanted that. To lift the biscuits up off the I knew I wanted that for a reason. I think I hit it and then, okay. Come on, biscuits. Come on, come on. Got my ham. I got my hollandaise. Just keep on stirring it. That looks so good. Oh, this is a better one. This is a better one. My biscuit's not too big. My eggs, I might be able to get the medium. I might be able to get the medium. And you know what I'm doing? Making a management decision. Putting it on 400. I 
should have put it on four. Last time was a good pick. But we're getting there. Just as long as I get one biscuit and get those eggs on the go. I don't want to burn the biscuits on the bottom because that's what I want. I want the bottom of the biscuit. So let's see here. Get there. A couple more minutes. And then the egg and then my hollandaise. Look at that. Oh, that looks so good. It's unreal. So good. These aren't dirty. One had vinegar though, but we'll just rinse it off. Got a dishwasher, but why make those go in the garbage after? Take the waste the eggs twice, but I don't have an egg beater to make meringue, and I really don't eat anything with meringue, so take the waste. Okay, so I see one of them that I could use. It is one egg. So what I'm gonna do, where's that blue thing right here? Just cut the top off, just a little bit, make it the top off the biscuit. I'm doing up and down, so I am going to put some margarine. I wasn't doing it. I'm not doing it up and down. I'm doing it sideways. So i got to put a little bit of margarine. There we go. Just a little bit. Now. <coughs> this is on the eggs. I don't know why those eggs take so long. I really don't. Just to take off the eggs. Don't need that anymore. Put the biscuit in the garbage. Just to take out the egg, the spoon. Okay, come on, egg. Almost. Would take forever if I wouldn't have put it up to 400. I mean, I don't want a raw egg, but I, I like it not hard boiled either, medium. Whenever I order egg Benedict, I always uh, ask for medium the egg. Just like over medium when I get it fried. I get an over medium egg. Put the biscuits after on there. Not gonna waste them. I'll probably take some at lunch. Biscuits. Oh, this marmalade is. Uh, Benedict is looking good. Put my eggs on here. Mm, it's cooking. Might even be done. It's hard to tell. It looks like it's raw because of that water. That surrounds it. Check your time. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to make, make a management decision here. I am going to take the muffins out. I want them to burn. Let's put them over here on that one. And I probably need two to get these out. And if they're not cooked, I'm eating them anyway. I don't uh, I don't like sunny side, but See, I think next time I poached egg, I'm going to try it in microwave. 
I'm going to put it on broil for just a couple of minutes because that egg yolk looks too, uh, ooh. Okay, broil. Put, put it on broil for a couple of seconds just to cook the top of it. I don't like sunny side up eggs. This is still good. A lot of trouble. Yeah, I think on the next time I'm going to try microwave it. Use the microwave. Because, I mean, the hollandaise is already done. And try microwaving the eggs. Because that seems to... This is, what, my third or fourth time trying it? Yeah. Put it on broil. Cook it. Cook it on top. Let's see these. They turned out good. The muffins turned out really, or the biscuit turned out really good. Right size. I'll take a couple of them at work today. With some marmalade or something. Cook that to a medium. Got it on broil. I thought it was a convention oven that. It cooks all the way around. There's no elements. I like the good old fashioned way with the elements and, and on top. I don't like these new stoves. Turning on and off on you and everything while you're cooking. Oh. I like the old stoves. If it's not broke, don't fix it. That egg should have cooked all the way around. There's an element on top. See, now it's cooking the top of that egg. Really, really, really good. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna, that egg's going to be perfect. My hand's perfect. My mouth. Everything's perfect today. Everything. I had to get that hollandaise. I had to. I did it twice. Second time wasn't good. It thickened a little bit. It wasn't as good as the first one. Yeah. That egg yolk is cooking good now on top. But I think I'm done doing them in the oven. And I don't like doing the water and you got to stir it. I'm going to try. I'm going to try doing one at a time in the microwave next time. I poach an egg. I feel like a poached egg. Okay, let's see what I can do with this. A couple more. One more minute. One more minute. And then I'll take it over to the table, and I can't remember what day it is. It's like the countdown to Christmas, right? I think we're up to 25 or 26. I'm going to put this in my five-ingredient cooking. I took the other one out. But I'll put this one where it turned out good. I don't mess up my egg. That egg looks good. So I'm going to take it out without spoiling myself. I'll just drop the water out of it. So the egg looks good. Take my plate over here. <coughs> to the camera. Let me see here. Oh my god. Mm-mm-mm. Not clock. Oh yeah. I can live with that. And then I'll put the paprika after. So my 
my two legs, my hand. Look at this. Look at that. Can you get any better than that? True. Really. And then I'm going to go put a little bit of paprika for... Look. This is so perfect. I should have did it up and down, right? But So I'm going to take that over to the table. Eggs. That one's perfect. And I'll download that one into my five ingredients, right? Where it turned out so good. And I'm not going to delete the other ones, but... Anyhow, so I'll see you over at the table and we'll talk.